So now Republicans claim that uh, only a good guy with a gun can stop a bad guy with a gun. Well, here's the situation where a good guy with a gun actually did stop a bad guy with a gun, but it had disastrous consequences. Uh, now, uh, according to uh, officials and witnesses, uh, uh, according to a local uh, Chicago station, an armed security guard at a bar in suburban Chicago was killed by police as he detained a suspected gunman. So now here's that situation where you have a good guy with a gun who was fulfilling his duty. He stopped a shooter who ended up being shot by police officers that had responded to the scene. Now, uh, after gunfire erupted around four, uh, four o'clock local time last Sunday, Jamel Robinson, 26 year old, chased down an attacker and knelt on his back until police arrived. Moments later, after police came on the scene, an officer opened fire on Robertson, who was black, killing him. <sighs> Again, this is deeply troubling, and this is incredibly sad, this entire situation. So here you have somebody who was a legal gun owner, okay? Uh, and that was one thing, right? So he was a legal gun owner, and he wanted to be a police officer himself. Believed in law and order. Uh, and, and actually helped people in his community, was a pillar of the community, had a gun, stopped a, a gunman, but was killed anyway. Shot and killed by police officers. That is deeply, deeply tragic. Now, uh, how did the shooting occur? Well, according to Sophia Ansari, a spokeswoman for the Cook County Sheriff's Office said police were called to the scene after a fight broke out in the bar and four people were shot. <clears throat> Witness Adam Harris told Fox 32 that Robertson, who was armed with a legally owned firearm, chased down and caught one of the attackers. The security guard that got killed, he caught somebody and had his knee on him the whole time, according to Mr. Harris. He said, he's just waiting for the police to get there. I guess when the police got there, they probably thought he was one of the bad guys because he had his gun on the guy, and they shot him. Everybody was screaming out, security, he was a security guard, Mr. Harris added, and they still did their job and saw a black man with a gun and basically killed him. Harris finally told CBS, quote, he was protecting the club and holding a, sus a suspect down. And that's what he was doing. Again, he was doing what Republicans claim that uh, you know, a good guys do, right? He was the good guy with the gun in this situation. But like I had said before, when everybody has guns, how do you know who the good guy really is? When, if you're a police officer and you bust into the scene, that's what happened here. Now, the other part of that, of course, is racial bias. Now, if it were a white man, would he have gotten the same treatment? Would he have gotten shot? Odds are no. But because he was a black man, legal gun owner or not, security guard or not, police only saw this. He is a black man. He is armed and he must be a threat. He must be the person that did the crime. He must be the criminal. And so that's a failure on two different disastrous levels. Now, I want to read a statement here from Chief Dan Delaney uh, of the Midlothian police. He said, uh, the officer that fired the fatal shot, uh, upon uh, uh, arrival, officers learned that there were several gunshot victims inside the bar. A Midlothian officer can, uh, encountered a suspect with a gun and was involved in an officer-involved shooting. And that's basically all he said. Now, the reaction, of course, is one of complete sadness. Now, acquaintances say that Roberson was a spiritual man, played organ at several churches. Uh, he also, of course, wanted to be a police officer. He was a basketball player, a musician. Uh, <clears throat> and according to a fundraiser, uh, he had this love for God. So he's a deeply religious man, spiritual man, uh, trying to do right for the community, did volunteering, etc. And when he tried to do the right thing, he was, he was murdered for it. He was killed for it. And unfortunately, this is what happens, right? A disproportionately high proportion of police shootings involve black people in the United States. 
So what lesson can we get this? Can we get from this? Well, obviously, it doesn't matter if you're a black person. Uh, if you're armed, police will consider you dangerous and will likely murder you. And that we've also learned that the good guy with a gun trope is not true either. Because even though he was a good guy with the gun, he ended up losing his life anyway. And in more situations than that, and this is just barring police involvement, it is more likely that you will be killed and that person uh, who is the attacker will likely just get another firearm to use against innocent people. So there's, there's no good uh, uh, thing about this. There's no good parts about this. Uh, story. It's a complete, absolute disaster, um, and another another case where I think there there was inherent bias, implicit bias in this, uh, where you have police officers opening fire and killing heroic black men. It is a problem that we desperately need to solve in this country. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.